As the Delta variant intensifies across the country, at Golden Gate Pediatrics, Dr. Lisa Dana and her staff are working overtime. But we are seeing many more children who need it, who are concerned, they feel like they might have been exposed, so they want to get tested um, or they have symptoms. On a daily basis, she says about 150 children are coming into her practice, about 25% of them for COVID-related reasons. So we did send out many swabs to get tested by PCR, and that takes 24 hours for us to get results. So we are seeing a few rapid COVID positives. According to the CDC, in the last year, at least 340 children ages 17 and younger have died from COVID-19. The latest data shows severe disease remains low among children. Yeah, like I'm scared that I might get it, but I'm scared that like my family's going to get it too. Dr. Dana urging parents to take safety precautions. The most important thing is if they're over two, they should be wearing a mask. I think that's really important. I can't stress that enough. For 14-year-old Amelia Stokes and her brother Justin, Getting vaccinated is personal. I'm just worried about like his safety, but I'm really glad that I have the vaccine and that I'm keeping people safe and, you know, I'm keeping myself safe. Uh, I just wish he could get vaccinated soon. Their dad died from COVID in April of last year. Their mom is hoping 10-year-old Justin can get vaccinated soon as the Pfizer trials for those 5 and 11 years old continue. It's very emotional. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.